Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's Power Query to extract a trial balance from a simple double entry sheet. I'm sure this will be useful for accountants and finance people who rely on trial balance for their work. Join me in Excel and let's go through this in 5 minutes. So this is my double entry data sheet. It records the dates, the transaction, the amount. And here I have two columns named debit and credit where I specify which account to debit and which account to credit for each transaction. So that is what I have used to capture the double entries here. Now we are going to take this into Power Query, transform it and then summarize the data then we can get our trial balance. So to go to Power Query, you go to data in the leftmost part you see get and transform so power query allows you to connect to many data sources transform and load it in a way that will make it easier for you to analyze your data so for this purpose we are connecting to this data set depending on your version it may read sheet table or range so while in the data you click on this icon So it loads it and then you have all your various fields in the Power Query, your date, description, amount, debit and credit. Now, because we are going to be summarizing and aggregating, we will not need these two columns, the date and the description column. So I'm going to highlight these two, right click and then remove these two columns. Now I'm left with the amount, the debit and then the credit. So what we are going to do is we need the debit and credit to be in rows so that it describes this amount so we are going to collapse this and make them rows so that it describes this amount and that process is called on pivoting so i'll highlight debits control select credit right click these two and then i'll choose on pivot these two columns what that gives us is that for each transaction i now have the debit and credit version okay and that goes down like that so this is going to be my account I'm going to name this account and then I'll rearrange this, bring this here. So I have account, amount, the debits, and then the credit. The next step is to convert all the credits and negate them. So typically when you do that, it makes it easier for you to net off the movement in the trial balance. So all my credits are going to be negative and all my debits are going to remain positive. To do this, I need an if statement and in Power Query, you can create that using the conditional column icon here or you can also use a custom column. So we are going to write the formula straight out using this. So I'll click on custom column and whatever answer I'm going to get or column I'm going to get, I'm going to name this new amount. So the statement is going to read if the attribute which is a debit or credit is equal to debit okay then so in power query instead of a comma like excel we'll continue the if statement with then so then i want amount okay else else is otherwise so else i want the same amount times negative one Okay, so this is a statement to convert all the credits into negative numbers. So then I click OK. So what is going to happen is that I now have all the credits here. I can now delete this and I have my account, my attribute and then my new amount here. I'll also delete this one for now and then I'm going to group this. So grouping will now summarize by account. Okay, so this is like some if in Excel. So I'm going to right click and then I'll choose group by. So I'm group I'm grouping by this account column and then the new one is going to be called maybe new account. Okay, and then the operation is going to be a sum operation on the new amount column. Okay, so I'll do this and I now have all the unique accounts and then there are various negative and positive. At this point, 
it's my trial balance because this will all sum up to zero but for those who want the traditional view where i have debits on the left and credits on the left we can go back and then bring in the debits and credits again using a custom column so in the custom column i will go in here and then let's say i'll introduce this as type so another if statement that says that if the new account is less than zero okay then call it credit else call it debit okay so maybe you'll be asking why didn't i maintain the earlier column if i maintained it i wouldn't have been able to summarize or group by to get these net offs so i can bring it back using the if statement now at this point i'm going to pivot it pivot means now the rules are going to be converted into columns so that i can split this into debit on the left and credit on the right so selecting this i can come to transform and you see pivot column here so pivot column requires a value column which is the new account that contains the values and then i will click ok so i now have my debits and my credits if you want your credits to remain positive i could just multiply through by negative one so highlighting this i'll go to standard and then multiply through by negative one and then i'll click ok so i now have my trial balance i'll come here load directly to my default selection which is a table so now this is my trial balance if i come here data and i sort this all the credits are on my right of course for trial balance it's supposed to be the same on both sides so this is what i have 687 here 687 here the good thing about this is that it's linked to my double entry sheet so as an example if you understand what is going on here my bank balance is on the left which means it's a positive balance i haven't overdrawn this yet let's say i spend hundred thousand i expect this to be overdrawn and move to the credit side while my trial balance still remains balanced so i'll come here Control d as a new entry and i'm going to put in hundred thousand okay so if i come to my trial balance data refresh all so what should happen is that the expense should increase i should still balance and then my bank should now be overdrawn and move to the right so it's a very nice way to link the sheets to your double entry sheets and then also get data coming in as you refresh your trial balance also updates please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can send ad to this whatsapp number who we'll add you to our broadcast list all our old videos are on our youtube channel find us close up please visit subscribe for notification of new videos or, or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching